Hey, so how's it going, you guys? So, I'm just bringing you guys a little live gameplay for, well, actually, not live because I mean, I ended up editing it at the end. Um, so, I'm just bringing you guys a little gameplay for uh, Black Ops 2 and uh, on, I believe it's Studio, uh, Standoff, and Nuketown. But today, I decided to tell you guys a little story. It's a story I told before, not to you guys, but I've told before to a couple of my friends. And, you know, I had the idea, why don't I just tell it to you guys? Simply because, I mean, personally, I think it's a scary story. Just because Halloween's coming up. And it was actually around the same time that this actually happened. Um, so, the story is about my psychotic uh, ex-girlfriend. That, yeah. <laughs> so, oh gosh, I can't believe I'm telling you guys this shit. Um, so pretty much what happened was, uh, this was when I was about 17, so a couple of years ago. Uh, it was right after I graduated. I was, I graduated in the year 2012. Yeah, I graduated in 2012. Um, and I was just barely living the life, you know, I was freaking, uh, young and, you know, barely realizing what was the real world you know so i was out going to school and i was going to uh to work you know i was like i had to get a job and uh, to help around and you know so me and my best friend uh eli i'll mention his name you know just because i'm pretty sure he doesn't mind me and my best friend eli oh there's jess sending me a message <laughs> me and my best friend eli we were off um job hunting together and we ended up getting a job interview for a pizza company we our first job was working at a pizza at a pizza place you know uh we were both servers and there uh we got the pretty much we got the job on the spot to be honest they called us the same day saying that we got the job so it was pretty cool working at with your best friend and uh, you know we would get the hookups. To be honest, we would get hookups on the pizza, and I'm not gonna lie, the pizza's pretty bomb where I would work at. I'm not gonna mention name just because you know how some companies are. And um, we met a couple of chill ass people, and uh, I remember we went to an orientation for our job. So we ended up going to the orientation, and right away we were like, me and my best friend were over here checking out the girls. We're like, holy oh, shit, which one are we gonna get at? You know. Which one's bomb? Is she cute? Nah, let's left swiper, let's right swiper. Nah, she ain't worthy of the double tap. <laughs> so, we were just, uh, you know, a couple of teens, you know, freaking just look, I don't know, just, uh, we were excited about the job, but at the same time, we were excited about who we were gonna be working with. So, at first, we're like, alright, there's some pretty cute co workers, you know, alright, for sure. And,. Uh, a little couple of minutes after we got there, one of our co-workers got there. And, like, right away, me and my friend, we were just like, oh, damn, dude, damn, dude. She is, ooh, she is something else, you know? So we're over here debating who's going to get at her, if it was going to be me or him. So we're just like, all right. And then we're just like, whoever gets at her, gets at her. So the couple of weeks, uh, we weren't really trying, actually, because we were more, like, focused on the job. So we were just pretty much trying to see who would get along with her the most. And um, I remember for the first weeks, he, he, we were both trying in a way. And out of nowhere, for some reason, I don't know how it came up that... Because uh, I, I, I'm going to school for criminal justice. I'm majoring to be a police officer. And I believe she's going for the same thing. So it was during the time when that one movie came out. I forgot what it's called. Um... I think it's called the uh oh my gosh it's that one cop movie where it's the mexican cop and the white cop and then the mexican cop dies i believe because he saves his, his partner well that one i forgot the name of it right now i'm out of it <laughs> so it was when it was barely coming out in the movie so that's how you know it was a while back ago um we were in so we ended up uh i found out that she wanted to go see the movie so i told her hey you know what Shit, this is my chance. I'm gonna make the move. So, I ended up asking her on a date. So she said, yeah. 
Uh, we ended up going, well, it wasn't a date, it was just more of a hangout at the moment. So, it, we, went up, we ended up going, you know, to the movie and hanging out right after work. I remember it was right after work we went. Because, uh, right in front of where we worked at, there was a movie theater. So, uh, the night was cool, you know, though, I, we really liked the movie. And, um, out of nowhere, I remember, I think I walked her to her car. Yeah, I walked her to her car. And, I mean, when you see her, she looks like the very innocent, sweet type of girl. You know, like, she, she's like, I don't know, she just looks really sweet. And she was. She was, a, like, you know, she was a really nice girl. And, um, just don't date her. <laughs> that's my, that's gonna be my advice. <laughs> so, what happened was, um, we kept hanging out a couple of times, and... I remember we made it official. I ended up asking her out, and she, we we got together. So what happened was, um, after a week, I noticed things got started getting a little strange. You know, things just got strange. Then, yeah, more than strange, if that's even a word. Where to the point where after a week, she was already telling me she loved me. So me over here is just like that's, that's kind of weird. You don't say I love you in the first week of when you're together with someone. So I was just like, eh, you know, I was like, okay, it's something wrong here. And um, you know, but still, I didn't, I didn't care. I was like, maybe that's just her. You know, there's those lovey dovey types. I was like, all right, uh, but but it still ha felt weird about it. Um, I remember we ended up going to this Halloween event. We went to a Halloween event, and um, right after the event, uh, I was gonna drop her off, I believe. Yeah, and let's just say things started to get weirder than weird, I guess. <laughs> so, you know, we're getting our Mac on, you know, we're over here getting it on. Well, not literally like getting it in, I'm more like getting it on, like with the Mac on, and I don't know where I realized that it seems like if she's having like a type of seizure type of deal like she's kind of like like she's going like uh, uh, like like i don't know <laughs> it was weird to be honest it felt like i don't know leave the comments in the area maybe it's just me tripping out or something girls do i don't know that we were just making out like that literally that's all we were doing making out and it felt like if she had like she was pushing like the insides out of her vagina like it was just like coming out like it was just weird so i mean over here like she started like in a way twitching so i'm just like what the hell <laughs> and i didn't mind but the moment that i got super weird was the moment where we it actually got on have you guys ever seen that one movie don't be a menace in south central because if you have there's a scene that literally describes the whole fucking what happened like literally like it literally happened like this I I could get a little crazy <laughs> yeah you get crazy come on okay <laughs> Nigga, you ain't going nowhere. But yeah, so she's like over here. She's all like, fuck me now. And then like her she started busting like the exorcist type of thing. Like, I don't know. That shit was just hella weird. I remember I was scared. Like, I, I don't know. I was just tripping out. But then there'd be times where she st she actually quit where we worked, uh, stopped working at. And she knew my whole fucking schedule. Like she knew who I was going to work with, where I was going to work with, what time I was going to work. And there'll be times where like, I would see, like, I'll be working, and then I will look up, and I'll see her kind of, like, in a distance, and then one day, my best friend told me, he's like, hey, dude, isn't that your, isn't that your ex? Like, she's straight up fucking looking over here, like, she looks like, I don't know, like, she's stalking you, like, she's watching your every move. So then, she would kind of, like, I looked up, and I see her, and she's kind of, like, in the distance, kind of looking at me, like, something like this. So, that's why I'm tripping out. Like, you know, you're just gonna see her standing and then you just see her kind of like move closer and closer and closer. But then one day it got so freaky that 
Um, I remember it was like about four in the morning and I was sleeping. And so I answered the phone because I got a phone call from her. And like, I mean, apparently all the phone calls are going to wake me up. And I answered and it's from her. But at the same time, I saw I had like a bunch of missed calls and missed texts. And um, so she's telling me, she's like, why don't you answer the phone? Oh, there's Jess. <laughs> so she's like, why don't you answer the phone? All oh, this other shit. You're probably cheating on me with them bitches. This and that. And I'm just like, yo, chill, we ain't even together. And I was like, and I'm home sleeping. You know, it's four in the morning. You should go go home and sleep. And she's all like, no, nah, I'm over here waiting for you. This and I was like, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean you're waiting for me? So, um, I somewhat like kind of looked like through the side of the window to make sure that way she doesn't see me. And she's like, yeah, I've been waiting for you, this and that. It's been hours, all this shit. I've been throwing little pebbles at your window so you can hear me, so you can wake up and all this. And, then, <laughs> and so I look out, I was like, fuck. I was like, look, I don't want to talk to you no more. Get out of my life. I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you. Like, just, you know, bounce. Like, I don't want you. So she's like, no, nah, I know you have class at 10. I know you leave your house at 9. Uh, like at 9.15, I was like, what the fuck? Like, and that actually was the schedule I get out. Like, so I never told her my schedule. So she would know. She just knows that I have class at 10. That's all she would know. So what she did is she waited for me in the front of my house until I got out of, until I got out, like ready to go to school. So that day what I did was I got ready. I ate breakfast. And I made sure, as soon as I opened that door, like if I was going to war, like as soon as I'm opening that door, I'm going to run for my life, and I am going to turn on the car, go in reverse, and just draw it, drive off like if I'm like in the Fast and the Furious. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> so, anyways, I forgot. I, I just know that she, in order for her to move on from me, I think she ended up like doing the homie hop, but it's all good though. You know, he saved my life. And... <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the story for the psychotic ex-girlfriend. Um, it's just I don't know. I found it funny. And just I was record I'm remembering about it the other day. I'm just like, hey, why don't I talk about it and tell you guys? But yeah, that's the story of the psychotic ex-girlfriend. Um, so, but if you guys want to know more stories, I have a couple of fucking more random stories. If you guys want to hear them, just press the thumbs up. I'm probably gonna make this into a skit. If you guys want to see it in a skit. Thumbs up, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I can make it something funny. I can get a couple of my friends to join in. And, um, but yeah, you know, just remember to like, comment, subscribe. And, um, till next time, you guys, you know, I leave. Um, I want you guys to remember you guys, I am live streaming now. I am on twitch.tv forward slash uh, legacy TV. I live stream almost every week. Literally, I, I live stream every week, pretty much on the PS4 or on the PS3. Um, so, if anything, you guys, you know, look, thank you guys for the 65 subscribers. I'm very thankful for you guys. And other than that, see you guys later. Peace. Also, you guys, if you, there's like any topic you want to talk, want me to talk about, or any. You know, uh, just anything in general you want me to speak about or react to, let me know. You know, leave it in the comments. I want to see more comments going on. You know, I'm I'm seeing an increase on the likes and the views. I just need to see more action in the comments. You know, the comments get lonely too. So you know, we gotta get them some love. And other than that, see you guys later. Where I'm leaving